Steve? Hi guys, concert master Frank Almond has a delicate job sharing this violin and protecting it. That is just the newest chapter in the story of this violin's life. It is far easier for Frank Allman to show you his relationship with the Lipinski Stradivarius than it is for him to describe. It's not like I have a name for it or anything weird like that, but it, it is sort of an appendage. So imagine what it was like. Do you have anything to say to Frank Almond? When that appendage was ripped from Almond in January 2014, the violent armed robbery of a priceless instrument. On a very, very human level, almost everybody could relate to this story. It was so bizarre and so multifaceted and uh, kind of comical in a way. It also brought him and the instrument unprecedented attention, which may have helped land his new recording, A Violin's Life, Volume 2, at number 12 on the Billboard chart. There were a lot of upsides. There are a lot of silver linings to it. I'll be the first to admit it. Attention, though, meant pressure. Almond wanted to make this recording count. I didn't really want to do the same kind of recording we did the first time. I wanted to have some stylistic differences. That includes a nearly 10-minute solo, a chance to hear the performer and violin playing against each other. Again, that relationship so hard to put into words. So there is a kind of weird adaptation over the years and a weird relationship that develops. Today, if you see Almond playing, there is a chance it will not be on the Stradivarius. New security precautions require he randomly play other violins. I mean, I find myself looking over my shoulder and looking at things, and my awareness level is much different about certain situations than it was before. That is the price of possessing the priceless. Though for all the Lipinski Stradivarius has changed his life, Frank Almond cannot complain. This instrument definitely does not sound the way it did when I first got it. And I for sure don't play the same way. Allman tells me this new album would have happened much sooner had the theft and the criminal case not slowed down his plans. The man who stole the violin back in 2014 now serving seven years in prison. Guys. Well, thank goodness Frank is reunited with his instrument. So much nice talent. Job.